Grace, Noble Notary, Signing Service Agency, all that other stuff. Uh, so today we are going to talk about the top eight, I guess we'll say books that notaries should read. Now this isn't going to be conventional notary wisdom, which is all the NNA stuff. I can't tell you how many notaries I've met that never cracked open all the books that they got kind of swindled into buying from the NNA. I'm going to give you some real meat and potato stuff for your notary business. Yes, so we're going to start with number eight, which is going to be your state's manual, um, your guide to notary rules and um, regulations that you need to follow, right? Right. Super First, important. know what you can and can't do in your state. Don't get in trouble. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that's kind of your baseline. That's your, That should trump, your state's manual should trump anything produced by the NNA on their website, off their website. It should always trump that because Definitely. your state makes your notary laws, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, so number seven is going to be Sign and Thrive, right? And why? who's that by? And that why? is Mr. Bill Soroka, The Notary Coach. Actually a really good book. Uh, if you are looking at the getting into being a signing agent, a uh, very thorough explaining of how it all works and what it's all about in his book. He doesn't go into the nitty gritty, the technical aspects of signing, um, uh, uh, the process of signing, but he does tell you what you do need to know, what you don't need to know, what you should do, kind of some best practices. So very sound advice on that book. Um, gosh, I think on Kindle, it's, I think it's free or it's next to nothing. But uh, so book. yeah, unless you want it on paperback, it's pretty inexpensive. And it is a very popular book and it's very well written. So, so good, good job. job yep, good job, Notary Coach, on that one. <laughs> yes. Uh, number six, so the Apostille Survival Guide. Um, if you don't know, who's that by? That is Jody, or that is Judy Lawrence uh, okay. and Matt Miller. Judy Lawrence is the self-proclaimed apostille queen. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to argue with that. But she definitely knows what she's talking about in the book. Yeah, if you don't know anything about apostilles, we offer that service and very heavily in Florida. I mean, probably all over the country, really. But um, very important stuff to know. There are a lot of important nuances to apostilles, and they really they did a great job of addressing them in this book. It's probably, it's a really good book. It's really, really informative. They did a good job on that as well. Number five is going to be Rise of the Smart Notary. Ah, Mr. Tiger Toledo. <laughs> Tiger Toledo is, uh, I relate to him a lot. He's a like very him. atypical, he thinks he's an outside the box notary for sure. Uh, he really discusses the process of Building out an agency type model, kind of building out your services, getting out of the what I would call quit swimming in the notary Kool Aid, you know, uh, start looking at things differently. And if you want uh, somebody who has a completely different perspective, because like us, we got into this kind of com completely backwards from most people, uh, he did too. His background was completely different, kind of stumbled into this, and before he knew it, he, was, he owned an agency and was never actually a typical signing agent notary. So. Very interesting perspective. It's a very quick read as well. Um, I think he has a whole series of Rise of the Smart Notaries. So definitely check those out on Amazon. Yes. All right. Number four, A Golden Pen by Mark and Grace Sire. I guess huh. we would be remiss if we didn't <laughs> recommend our own book. We wouldn't think very much of ourselves. So this book, A Golden Pen, is uh, the, it's the what I call the multi-service agency model where the, the notary looks at these other different services that are very complementary of their business and then adds them to it. So it's kind of the, like I say, the 30,000 overview of other services if you wanted to add those to your business. Yeah, it's a it's a perspective that not a lot of notaries have. A lot of notaries are beginning to have, so it's really important. I, I, I love our book, obviously, but I love it because it gives you insight into all these different things that you can offer, which is really, really cool. All right, number three is going to be Traffic Secrets by Russell Brunson. I do know that because we go through that quite often together. So, he talks about it all the time. Mr. Russell Brunson is a genius, yes. um, and he has a lot of great – you should read all his books. But if you were only going to read one of them, it would be Traffic Secrets. Uh, once you – so here's the thought process. Once you know what you should be doing and what you want to do, and you've got some good industry perspective, which all those previous books would give you. Yeah. Now what you got to do is you got to get people to find you, right? You need traffic, right? So he lays that out. He lays out all the different methods of getting traffic and kind of how he does that. He's pretty much a wizard at it. Great, great, great book. Yeah, definitely. Okay, number um, two is going to be Sell Like Crazy. 
Yes, okay, so Mr. Uh, is it Savory, Subi, Subi, Savory, or something like that. I, Super Savory. I can't get it confused. Uh, if you have two last that. names or two first names, I have trouble keeping it in order. Like Drop the correct author in the <laughs> comments below. We know it, but... Like Channing Tatum. Is it Tatum Channing or Channing Tatum? <laughs> I can't, and I don't even know if it's, is it Channing or is it Tan? I can't, I, it's see, Channing Tatum. I can't get it straight. I don't know. He has two last names. All right. So, <laughs> end of subject. But anyway, so Sell Like Crazy is um, this guy, same thing, advertising wizard. He tells you how to craft your offer. In other words, yeah. how to word those services that you offer in a way that are incredibly appealing to people. Uh, so, very, very, very insightful. So if you can see the trend as we go to number one, it's going to start with all of the information you need to know about being a notary, some of those special niches that you can get into, and then we're really dialing down now here to how to advertise yourself, how, how to make, some be, money, how to right? make the real money, because you can be whoever you want to be in this world, but if nobody knows what you do, you're probably not selling your service. So first, um, the last but not least, our number one book is How to Get to the Top of Google. And that is by Tim Cameron Kitchen, a.k.a. The Exposure Ninja. And why would the Notary Ninja not mention <laughs> The Exposure Ninja? <laughs> um, my goodness, this book, super simplified SEO, just makes you understand it. It seems like it's this kind of esoteric thing that nobody really has a handle on. And he just breaks it down into the simplest things and the simplest way to understand how Google works. And if you understand how Google works, theoretically, there's no ceiling on how much money you can make. Mm -hmm. So or how many businesses you can run, really? How right. many how many niches you can add to your notary business? And the crazy thing is, um, I mean, I think his book's like seven bucks on Amazon. Also, I think if you go to his website, Exposure Now, I think it's free on there. So. Uh, in digital format anyway so I'll put links for all these books in the description check them out this is like if you're a reader this is the the the, the what where why and how right. and when or you can Kindle you can just listen yep. everything's so simple now and our our theme is always furthering education so if you're not going to go pay for a course or pay for a mentor to teach you get some of these Dive books, into some of these books. And, yep. and learn some more stuff guys Yep, and, and, and just aside from that technical knowledge, there's the inspiration because you'll get some ideas from this as will spawn your own ideas mm -hmm. as well yeah. uh, that you can capitalize on. That's certainly the way we've done a lot of it. So that's it for today. The top eight books that notaries should be reading. Go check them out and we'll see you next time.